Alright, what's going on guys? So, today we've got a pretty exciting video. We're going to be installing a new subframe into the Nissan. Uh, and for if you don't know, a subframe is essentially a bar that goes across the engine bay from frame rail to frame rail and basically just supports your engine mounts on it. If you can't figure out what the engine is from what we're going to be putting in today, then uh, do a bit of research and I'm pretty sure you'll work it out. I'm going to go over there now, show you what we're going to do and then um, we'll, uh, we'll do it. We want to start off by loosening the bolts on both sides holding the lower control arms to the subframe. The lower control arms won't fall off but we'll let it be able to be persuaded out of the subframe. Next you want to disconnect the hydraulic lines that feed fluid to and from the reservoir so they're not attached to the steering rack. This will make removal easier. The steering arms will also need to be disconnected so the rack can be removed with the subframe. Finally you have to remove the four bolts attaching the subframe to the frame rails. It should then start lowering down ready for removal. It can be easier at this point to put a jack under the subframe to stop it dropping down too far. Lastly you'll need to manoeuvre the subframe so that it comes off the lower control arms and can then be removed from the engine bay. Next you'll be able to remove the rack from the subframe and install it on the new one. To remove the rack from the subframe, loosen the four bolts that hold the two clamps onto the subframe. Once this is done, the rack can then be removed. Installing the rack on the new subframe is just a reverse of removing it. Reinstall the bolts holding the clamps on. Put the subframe back into the car, lift it onto the lower control arms and reinstall all of the bolts you previously removed. So the subframe's now in the car. Overall, it was a very easy swap. Everything bolted up. The rack went onto the new subframe with no issues whatsoever. And then the new subframe went straight into the car, also with no issues whatsoever. I tried a bit of a new style with this video, so if you guys could let me know what you think, whether you like it, whether you dislike it. It takes a lot more effort to make these kind of videos with all the voiceover and stuff, but if it produces a better final product, then obviously it's worth it. If you enjoyed the video, then uh, leave a like. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.